Hello, thank you for joining me. So, what I'd like to show you in this film is maybe follow up a little bit on our last film in regard to putting Entourage in here. If you remember the Entourage we put in here, we can move this around a little bit. We put Cynthia sitting in a chair here, really nondescript except for the, you know, the, the, the symbol that's associated with that Entourage. Then you have Laurent over here, kind of hopefully looking at Cynthia. Now remember when you put in Entourage, the point up here is actually where the face is and how they're looking out. So, he's supposed to be looking somewhat towards Cynthia, and Cynthia is supposed to be looking at her desk, and hopefully both of those two people are working, because we're paying them a lot to do what they're doing and not doing. So let's go to our 3D view and take a look at that. This is what it looks like in a realistic uh, visual style. And uh, we've actually done a rendering of this, so uh, I haven't saved this uh, to the project or save it out of the project. But if we go to the View tab, go to Render, We can show that rendering and show you what that looks like. So you can actually see that this really does a pretty good job of dressing up our project. You know, it's nice seeing the furniture and chairs like that, but to add that human, extra human element, it's nice to have humans in there. And uh, it's nice, uh, you know, it, it provides a nice personal touch. It really helps uh, dress up your project when you find, finally get to the point where you have uh, enough detail done in the inside of your project that you want to show that project off to potential clients. So. I think Cynthia is uh, secretly reading a book, maybe Harry Potter in her folder there, and LeBron, I'm not certain what he's doing in space, not looking at the wall. If I were LeBron, I'd probably be looking at the window, but uh, both of them need to get back to work, and that's probably a subject of another video. But if you do want to save this, uh, this rendering, you need to do so uh, before you uh, save your project, because I do believe it will disappear once you close your project out, so you can actually save it to the project, or you can export it. So enough said here, let's go back to our uh, ground floor plan and add some furniture tags. So I'm going to start adding tags to our uh, chairs. The way you do that is you go to the annotate tab on the ribbon. And there's a couple different elements here in the tag palette. Uh, material tag allows you to tag some material like uh, maybe the gypsum wallboard on the walls perhaps. Then you have tag by category which allows you to tag uh, specific elements in here and add a tag to that. And multi-category would be maybe uh, identifying equipment and furniture at the same time. And then there's a tag all, so everything that's in the project that isn't tagged, like our doors right now, and we don't have any windows in yet, but if we wanted to do that, if we did tag all, it'll give us a list of uh, items that we could tag, and we can tell it to tag all that, and uh, give us a little bit of control in that respect. So, tag by category, we're going to do that, and we're going to click on our uh, furniture here, and you can see a little dialog box coming up. Uh, last time I was playing with it, I made a vertical. Horizontal, I believe, is, uh, is the appropriate uh, orientation in this view. And we're going to make it, instead of free end, we're going to do attached end. So it's going to attach it over here or over here. And if we do back to free end, it gives us a little bit more control. But I think at first we're going to do uh, attached end, and we're going to change that. Uh, size should be a quarter of an inch. So, to me, that's uh, just a little bit more compact. Half an inch kind of puts it out way too far away from the element itself. And if you've got a really busy project here, it might make it a little bit more cluttered than it needs to be. If you don't have tags associated with it, it's, if it's asking you when you're or hovering your mouse over, over an element here, if it's asking if you want to load that tag, this is how you do it. You'll probably be prompted if you say yes to it to go, uh, it already takes you into a family. So let me demonstrate how that works. You go to load a family. And it's kind of tricky. It's not very intuitive where this is. Remember, it is an annotation. It's not really an object. It's not something you're going to see in a photo real rendering. It's not really something physical that you're modeling here, but it is an annotation, something that complements your project. So it's an annotation. It's an architectural annotation. And what we're looking for is a furniture tag. So let's go back to our furniture. And uh, click on that. The tag looks really big. It doesn't have any numbers associated with it. It's just a blank tag. We're going to go ahead and fix that. But before we do that, I think a sixteenth of an inch for this view, a sixteenth of an inch to a foot is a little bit too big. So let's uh, make it a little bit smaller. Go down an eighth of an inch is equal to a foot. So these tags are actually... Whoop. No, we don't want to do floor tags. No, at least not. No, trying to, trying to select our tag here. All right. What we'd like to do is take that tag. There we go. Now we can select it. A little bit more work than was, uh, than was needed. If you go back to our uh, annotate tab again and go to tag by category, the tag actually changes size to about a half an inch. 
it's kind of everything scaled down except for the leader on that tag. So we do want to make sure it's a quarter of an inch. And we do uh, want to do an attached end. And we'll click on a couple of these chairs. Chairs don't have uh, any numbers associated with that tag. What we want to do is assign a type mark. So we don't do that with the tag itself. We do that with the chair. So it's a part of that parametric relationship. So the tag is actually going to reflect some of the information out of that chair. So we need to assign that element to the chair. So we're going to go to, it's a core boot chair, we're going to go to edit type. And down here where it says type mark, it's like a type of chair. We're going to type in uh, the value of three, so it's our chair number three. Our furniture tag number three. So now our tags fill in with the value of three. And we go to annotate, go back to tag by category. We can go and uh, tag that chair also. So let's continue tagging. Let's tag these two here. Let's tag our desk. Our desks aren't assigned a value. So let's go ahead and assign a value to the desk, just like we did with the chair, with the Corby chair. Edit type. Scroll down to type mark. Again, that's the type of chair. And we're going to make that uh, six, perhaps. Go to apply. And it says we have a duplicate, ta a duplicate tag value here. And that's okay for now. It's just like with our room schedules we put together. When we put a furniture schedule together, we can go ahead and manipulate the database there and take out redundancies and uh, revalue the tags that are associated with the furniture. A couple different options here. I don't like the idea that the leader is so far away from the desk. I'm going to go ahead and change that. So instead of being an attached end, I'm going to make it a free end and then take that end of that leader and move it around. It doesn't necessarily have to be vertical or horizontal. I'm going to do the same thing to that. So you can make a free end and actually make it attached to the object. I think that's, um, to me, it makes it look a little bit better. But it's kind of like dimensions in that regard, where if you actually put a line on another object, sometimes it could be confusing, like where does the object end and where does the annotation begin. So you might want to have some sort of offset on that. So do what you need to do to make it look good. One thing you want to make sure and when you're putting tags in here that you move some of the annotations around so that they're all legible. You certainly don't want to annotations over objects or annotations on other annotations. So let's go ahead and tag some of this just to kind of show you some of the conflicts and the clutter that could uh, result from that. Let's take our room tag, move that off to the side, that's uh, probably a good thing to do. And take some of these and move those too. You can keep the leader on if you like. Shorten it up a little bit. And this really doesn't look very good, so I'm going to make it a, a detached end, make it a free end. And now it wants to scoot over there, but we're going to put it back where it needs to go. And that looks a little bit better to me. So, that's enough on tags for now. Please join me for the next video.